Alrighty, so this is going to be the first video I'm making this year, and you asked for it, so I combed through the movie to find all the little hidden secrets you might have missed. That's right, Ginger and Gentlemen, it's time to talk about everything you missed in Disney's movie, Tangled. If you remember from my video about Moana, the magical flower from the drop of sunlight made it to the movie Moana. Being trapped in the tower her whole life, Rapunzel spent a lot of her time painting. If you look closely at the painting though, it started off as a bad painter. Her earlier artwork is near the floor where a smaller person, like a child, would have been able to reach. Then as she grew older, her paintings got better. Tangled was the 50th animated feature that Disney ever made. So to celebrate, they put references to some of our favorite Disney movies in this movie. Along with the paintings of what her life would be like outside of the walls of the tower, she also paints easter eggs of her favorite movies. On the first stair post we see of the apple from Snow White. Have a bite? <laughs> the next stair post has a glass slipper from Cinderella. But you see, I have the other slipper. Then the very next post has the famous rose from Beauty and the Beast. But if we take a second to look at the beginning before all this happened, if you look at the little spinning thing up there, you will notice that it has a rubber ducky on it. And that may look like a reference to Monsters Inc. when Sully brings Boo into Monsters Land. However, it's actually a sneak peek to the adventure that Rapunzel is about to go on. So we see Pascal gotcha. and the birds that she gets to sing with when she finally escapes the tower. I'm then we of course see Maximus the horse. Nobody appreciates me, do they? And then the ugly duckling from the pub. Ah, there it is. And lastly, of course, we have the creepy angel. In the tower, we also see a shout out to Sleeping Beauty. Where? Notice the spinning wheel in the background? It's the same exact one from Sleeping Beauty. Touch the spindle. By the way, am I the only one that finds it a little bit odd that she trusts Rapunzel with scissors? What if she cut her hair off when the old witch was gone? Speaking of the old witch, you know a lot of people think that Boo is witch from Brave with the whole Pixar theory and everything. Well what about this? What if she isn't? What if the old witch from Brave is actually Gothel from Tangled? Oh, great. Now I'm the bad guy. Some of the original drawings of Gothel kind of do look like the witch from Brave. And she disappears when she falls off the tower. So maybe she time traveled to find the secret to uh, beauty. <laughs> Either way, if you look in the tower, you can see the witch's broom made it up there somehow. <laughs> Let's do survey time real quick. Do you think that this broom in Rapunzel's tower is the broom from Brave, the broom from Fantasia, or both, or a brand new broom that we never saw before until Tingled? Vote now or tell me in the comments which one you think it is. So here's a random fact. The tower was 70 feet tall and they made Rapunzel's hair 75 feet tall, long, in order to be able to pull up Gothel up and down on her little pulley thing. But when she slides down with her own hair, in order to make this scene actually possible, she would need 150 feet of her own hair to successfully be able to lower herself up and down without tying off the end of her hair, like with a knot or something on the hook. <laughs> what? Darling, I'm just teasing. There's something else in her tower though that may be giving tribute to another Disney classic and that's the guitar. This could be from Robin Hood. The rooster had one just like it. Oh, incidentally, I'm Alan Adeo, a minstrel. Oh, that's an early day folk singer. What? This scene looks familiar, doesn't it? Maybe she should go into the light so he can see her a little bit better. Come into the light. So the ugly duckling. No, the snuggly duckling. All right, sorry. So the snuggly duckling has several Easter eggs. Let's go ahead and brush out a few of them, shall we? <gasps> Hair joke. 
Brian Howard and Nathan Greeno are the directors behind Tangled, and we get to see them in the dreamy song. These guys are right here. The bad guy also happens to have a hook, and he's playing a piano with his hook. But watch this! Playing a subtle hint, probably, to the bad guy that also has a hook from this one show called Peter Pan. Then it is true! Walt Disney was secretly working on trying to make the Tangled a reality since the 1940s, so they're going to be trying to sneak in as many of his movies in there as they can. When the angel is flying around at the pub, if you look closely everywhere except for at the angel, you will see our favorite little wooden puppet Pinocchio is hanging out on the ceiling. Can you see me with the special little lady? Here's one. These two bad guys in a boat, one with an umbrella while the other one rows. Sounds like something a pirate would do if you ask me. Stop that. I really feel like a fool. Look nice, son. Now, of course, one of the first things Rapunzel would want to do with her day of freedom is visit a bookstore. Now, it might not have as many books as Beast's private collection from Beauty and the Beast had, but it definitely has Disney books. Over here, we see Sleeping Beauty on the display by the window. Then look over on the floor and you'll see that's Beauty and the Beast. See, it's Beast holding a little flower. Then, of course, we have a Little Mermaid, the book. Speaking of Little Mermaid, if you watch to the end credits, you will also see apparently Ariel is wanted by the law. Oh. Near the end of the movie, when Flynn is breaking out of jail to go rescue Rapunzel, he gets launched into the air and lands on Maximus the horse. Ouch. But did you see that? Let's watch it again one more time. <laughs> Look on top of the tower and you will see the three pigeons from Disney's movie Bolt hanging out up there. What? You gotta give me something here cause this is redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Another thing that we're gonna see in the credits is a fortune teller. This is a reference to a deleted scene where originally there was gonna be a monkey storyteller, but thankfully they deleted that scene because it just took way too much attention away from the actual story and it was kinda weird. One of the best moments in the movie is when Eugene and Rapunzel were watching the lanterns from their little boat. They also lit their own little lantern. So romantic. Some of these designs though on these little lanterns look a little bit like Mickey if you ask me. I'll let you decide if that one's a Mickey. I'm pretty sure it is. Regardless, also if you wanted to stop and count every single lantern, there were 45,000 lanterns that they used to make this awesome scene. And no, I didn't count them myself, Disney told me. Find these hidden easter eggs in this video and leave a comment where they are. Don't forget to include hashtag hair for your chance to win a free shirt. I hope this is your best year yet. Enjoy your life, every day is a gift. And when you have a chance, share a smile. They are contagious. Now I'll leave you with a Disney parade from D23 that I went to last year. <laughs> Bye.